Hello again, Andy with Handy Andy Handyman, and we are out once again looking at an estate home in Atlanta for inspection repairs. I'm not gonna be able to get everything in on this video, just kind of the highlights of some of the things that we're looking at. Uh, this is a gorgeous estate. Um, some of the vines out here on the front, uh, they give it a great age look, but they are allowed to grow a little too much, so at some point in time, they came across some of these windows. Uh, uh, these windows, every pretty much every window on the house needs to be scraped, caulked, and repainted. Um, the current owners were out for the buyers today on an inspection uh, repair estimate. Uh, and we get called out on a lot of these because we handle so many disciplines when it comes to housing repairs. Uh, so we'll make the slate repair roofs. Uh, this this roof will last 500 years or more. It's, it's an amazing roof. Uh, it does need some tweaks and, and, and fixes, and we'll show you a few things uh, if we can catch the lighting. Uh, but all of this trim, you can see where the ivy had come up through here. Uh, a lot of these windows, uh, this window right here has rot on the left and right. Uh, some of the windows, when you get up close on them, and it really take the guys coming through with ladders. Fortunately, we've got about 24, 26 guys running with us right now. It changes all the time. But on a house like this, you're, you're seeing the, the mortars cracked and falling out here. Some of the windows, uh, we'll see other places around the house, have weep holes to let the moisture out from behind the stone and brick. And those are those were clogged over by whoever did the mortar work. Um, looks like the house was probably built in two stages. I think there was a rear addition that somebody did. Uh, it doesn't come up a lot, but this house has gorgeous copper gutters. Uh, they're saucer gutters. Uh, it's really hard to do kick out flashing with these, um, but we can. And you're gonna want kick out flashing like here against the side of the chimney right here where this gutter hits the stone. Uh, and the guys will certainly do that. Uh, but the challenge of what they've done here is that with gutters like this, there's no gutter system, cover system you can use on these. Um, don't even waste your time and money. It's tempting. You know, this is an expensive property. People want to get maintenance free, but it just doesn't work. Uh, and one of the reasons they have the returns here is so much water comes through this thing uh, that it would overwhelm the drain. So this acts as a bucket to kind of just keep extra water. Uh, whoever designed the system did a great job. It's clogged in a few places, so we need, really need to investigate and clear them. But all of these wire screens across the gutter should be removed. Uh, not only do they look yucky, but they catch debris. Uh, and really, with a pitch like this on these roofs, uh, if you've got 10, 12 pitches on some of these roofs, the water is literally just coming right off the top, and it'll drop here. And that's why as you go around the house, you're going to see window rotted, garage doors rotted, um, French doors rotted, that kind of thing. Again, so just bear with me because we're not going to be able to catch everything. Um, the little spikes, you don't see this very often, but this is actually, uh, it's hard to see it right here in the video, but that spire up there is all part of a um, lightning rod protection system. So you'll see them up over the tops of the chimney caps over here. Maybe if you look closely, you'll see there, you see, you see a black line there. Uh, and so that's all tied to a copper ground that runs into the ground. Really old school. Uh, the house I grew up in upstate New York, we had them on most of the houses and barns as a lightning protection system. There are a lot of houses in Atlanta that get hit by lightning. As you go through, it's gonna be hard to see it, but you can see some of the rot in this uh, attic window up here. Uh, there's some in each of these windows and we'll write it up line by line. The front door just needs to be sanded, uh, restained and, and re-marine sparred. Uh, they used the polyurethane on it at some point and the weather just breaks that down. So you gotta use a, a marine spar. If the owner wants, the buyers, we can repaint all this uh, metal fretwork and, and handrails around the house. Uh, we won't have that in this current bid, but there is some maintenance there. Uh, the inspector wrote up the need to repaint a lot of the light fixtures. I like the aged look and I'd, I'd rather let it age, but we can paint it whatever the, the buyer wants uh, in that regard. Uh, and as you bounce through the house, you'll see uh, like here, uh, the previous painters, if you can look into this corner of the window right here, uh, they they just puttied that, so it rotted out. It's a very expensive repair because that's a leaded glass window. Um, but we can repair it, and what's leading to the rot is if you look closely in the window, see the black line in the sash? The wind, All the windows are like that. They all need to be caulked. No one ever caulked them. They just kept painting over them. Um, it's hard for us to get in some of the areas where you're up against the house here. I, I just can't get into all of this stuff uh, just from the groundwork. It's interesting that they did the dormers in slate. I, I haven't seen that in a long time. Uh, on the, the left side of this house, we'll go through it. And again, just bear with me. I get excited looking at houses like this. I love 
this isn't a Harrison home, I don't believe. I don't know the age of this house, but I love Harrison designs, and there's a lot of estate homes in Atlanta that, that he designed, and we just love working on those. We're working on a couple of them right now. Um, from right about here, you can actually see how wet this is over here. Some of it's drainage from here, uh, but my guess is that there's some sort of a septic issue, drain issue over here. It could be uh, a broken sprinkler head. You can see the amount of water that's being held up by this retaining wall. And it's all the way from here. You can see my skid. I almost went for a Brody. That was me right there. And it's all the way back to that landing down there. Uh, so we just need to investigate that. We need to clear the drains anyway. Uh, and that may be part of the problem here. But this whole area all through here is soaked. You can see the water underneath the pine needles where some of us have walked. Um, a lot of the stuff, like, so here, these are clean outs for the drainage system. So I'd love to clean this one maybe for plumbing. I'm assuming that one is tied to this drain, but I, I can't guarantee that until I know. Uh, but we need to just run a high pressure line down every one of these. This is another area that the inspector was calling for kick out flashing. And we can do that. Uh, it's, it's not a huge thing for us. This is what we're talking about on a lot of the windows. When you see that wrinkle like that, you know it's rotted through. That's a custom nose, and part of it was never set quite right anyway, and the caulk failed at the bottom, so once the water got in, it started rotting it from the bottom side. Um, these are all wooden mullions on these windows, so some of them are rotted. You can see where this window sash at the left side is rotted through right here. Uh, we're the only company in Atlanta that I know of that'll repair that with actual wood. You'll see where other painters or contractors have come through and they've just put putty in there and you don't ever want to do that. Again, you can see the mud layer through here. Um, we are at the weight room area off the, the terrace level. This spigot was leaking pretty good earlier. I tightened it a little bit, but I can't do anything more with it until uh, we come back and do the job. Uh, and that's what all this wetness is in here. Uh, again, he's calling for kick out flashing. Anywhere you're abutting the brick or the stonework, you gotta do that. So much water comes down here and they never did a good job caulking and sealing these. See the, the rot there? And that's, this is what it leads to right here. See that wrinkling? I can put my hand right through that. So it's all those little things that start to add up after a while. On a home like this, most of our clients have us come out four times a year and just walk the house and catch the little things before they get expensive. Um, surprisingly, we work for a lot of estate homeowners like this. And because our pricing is reasonable and, and we've got the knowledge to get this stuff done. It stinks in Atlanta because when you own these palatial homes, uh, you know, this house, I don't even know what square footage this thing is, but it's probably 20,000 feet or 15,000 feet. Uh, but when you get these size homes, uh, people just go crazy with pricing um, because they think people are, you know, have money to burn. And whether that's true or not, our pricing is always fair. It's based on the work. It's not based on the cost of the house. Uh, so somewhere in here, I got to do this from memory. And some of this is the metal work we're talking about repainting if they want us to do it. It's just something you pick a section every year, do one section, come back and do another section. So we're trying to get back here. And it's hard to see it, but if you look closely at this window, you'll see where it drops off right there. So the last contractor that worked here, he pieced that in. So that's what you're looking at. And even this one was repaired. Um, they pieced it together. So you see the line across it? So it needs to be replaced. When it rotted, they just overlaid a piece to make it look good enough and paint it. And that was, that was their solution. Um, but you can see where the sill is starting to rot now. Uh, that one's rotted through. So both noses on these sides. We can't. This is interesting because I don't know who else would bid this work for this owner. Because you can't buy these pieces. My carpenters are going to have to make this stuff. Uh, which is crazy. And so when you look up here, you get a better view of this saucer gutter. Some people call them a C gutter because they look like an upside down C. Uh, but right in this area is where the kick out flashing should be. And it's cut into the brick. So it seals that gap between the gutter and the brick and water can't get inside. We need to go around the house and catch some areas like here where we just need to seal some mortar. The whole stitch in time saves nine really applies to your property like this. Uh, and I thought there was some rot in this one. You can kind of see where the windows are starting to peel. And again, some of this is because the water is literally coming right over the tops of these gutters. Um, I think there's rot in the center of this section right here. I'll have to go back to my notes. So you have to forgive me for that. Um, but the guys will go all the way through uh, and go back through the whole house. When we're here, we'll break out the ladders, obviously, and get up high and check everything that needs to be fixed. Most owners, and I'm sure these buyers are the same, they just want it all repaired and want to be able to live their lives. It's a beautiful, beautiful house. 
Uh, and a lot of, again, what you're seeing here, this is the rear master. See the wrinkle in this nose right here? So you gotta just replace that whole piece all the way across. You got a little more rod up here. This is another expensive window repair. It's gorgeous. I mean, the window is absolutely gorgeous. It's hard to see it in this light, but the sash is rotted here and here on both sides of that window. Uh, so we'll actually have to go in there with a the Dremel tool uh, and router out the bad wood until we get to good wood, square it up, piece in a new piece that's custom made on site, back primed and sealed and painted, and it'll never rot again. On the roof, I hope the, the light is enough. If you look way up here, you're gonna see looks like a missing square, uh, rectangle up there. Those are the ones we're worried about. We're not worried about where you've got little chips right here. Don't worry about that, but it's this one up here. There's another one over in here. I'm not gonna be able to catch it right now. I think it's behind here somewhere. Somewhere in this area up here that needs to be replaced. We need to seal a few of these ridges. This is the upper rear gable right here. When you see skylight through that peak up there, see all the way at the top, see the sky through the black? Just need to seal that over. When you get to this back side of the house, this is where you get to see where you got a 10, 12 pitch back here and the water's literally just coming right over the gutter in heavy rains and it causes all this. So someone came in here before and skimmed Bondo across this and then painted it. So this is all rotted here, here, and here. Um, the frame is, was repaired incorrectly. This is a horizontal cut. So this is gonna rot right out again. You can see the, the seals open joints on the door. Same thing, it's all gonna rot. And this frame here, left and right, on the left side light is rotted. When you get to this door, you're gonna have more of the same. You can see the left side of the frame right here uh, is rotted out. This left door here on the master sitting area is rotted. See the wrinkle right there? So it's all that little stuff. There's some mullions rotted. I can't remember, I think it's this door over here. Might be this one. Yeah, this one right here. The mullions on this door, you can put your fingers through. See it softness, see it move? We custom make those, so that's not a problem. <coughs> if you have rotted windows, don't race out to replace them. Have somebody like us fix them. This one is just starting to rot in the bottom. And it's from this joint, so the water, everything you see here is painted, but there's six faces to this wood. So when this joint pops open, the water goes this way and this way and rots it out. Uh, so a lot of this is caulk work. I'm trying to see where the, the weep holes are that we could show you where they're sealed over. It might be on these back windows back here. Going around in circles a little bit, I apologize for that. There's a lot of inside stuff uh, that we're not gonna video today. I think it's here, so yeah. So here's some of the weep holes right here. They're designed to get moisture out through the house and the guys that did the brickwork just covered them over. So we need to go through these upper ones here and, and open those up. What those do, it allows the condensation that forms on the inside edge of the wall cavity uh, to weep out to the outside and not cause any mold inside the wall cavity. But overall, what a beautiful house. So like here, we're not concerned with these chipped slates. Uh, some people are, there's that missing one. I knew I'd find it eventually right there. See it? So you're looking for a piece that is, there's enough of an overlay that a chip slate isn't gonna harm you at all. I literally grew up on slate roofs. It's really funny to be back doing the stuff I did as a kid, um, but we love this stuff. Overall, the house is in great shape, but it's just all this stitch in time saves nine stuff that you really have to do. We had a little bit, and you can see where it's starting. So the rot that we saw in the other window started because the paint peeled, it wasn't primed and painted properly, uh, and now it's gonna start rotting. And in fact, this one is right here at the joint. So we can't piece in that piece. You can, but in a little bit of time, it'll look like what we saw on the other side of the house. You have to replace that whole piece. Uh, and unfortunately, the factories, when they make these windows, they just prime the outside edge. They're saving money. Contractors install this stuff. When it was new construction, they're racing to get it done. It's just, even a beautiful house like this, people cut a lot of corners. And you're so in awe of it. I mean, look at this. This is gorgeous. Um, the inspector noted some, uh, some seals are blown in this glass. That's outside of my pay grade. It's not something that, that I, I'm qualified to fix. Um, but we have some people who can. It's just not me. Um, inside, again, you're seeing this inside corner. So much water comes off this corner and drops right here and splashes. It does that right there. And they puttied it. Both sides of that, that jam are rotted. Uh, and again, you know, you got these beautiful windows. But see the joint here, that black line? 
all the black lines need to be caulked and sealed. So we'll come through it. A few things will be an estimated number just because we can't catch everything with me walking around like this. But what a gorgeous house. A lot of the windows are kind of like this. If you look into this area right here, see where this was never sealed? So if you get in behind it, right there, can you see that? That's a wide open hole. So every time it rains, water's going in. Some of this glazing on this window needs to be redone and then the window repainted. You can see missing glazing in here. You just want to seal that up. Uh, and a lot of these downspouts, they actually took the downspout away from here and I'm, I'm not sure why they did that. Um, they had this set up as a downspout at one time. Uh, maybe it clogged and they couldn't unclog it, but we'll investigate that. There's little stuff the owner want to do, like repainting these, these entry doors back here to the courtyard. Uh, and then there's a bunch of minor electrical, plumbing, that kind of stuff. Um, but pretty much we do everything when it comes to a house. Um, we're a top-rated contractor, home advisor. Uh, they love us so much that they ended up buying that website from us at one point. Uh, you can find us at handyandyfixit.xyz. Uh, you can reach me directly sometimes at 770 265 9017. Uh, we'll show you this garage door real quick too. There's a couple things on these garage doors. Again, just look for the black on your house. It's going to save you money, whether it's a $50,000 little townhouse bungalow somewhere in the middle of North America somewhere, uh, or, you know, a million dollar property like this. See the joints here? They started out like this. The moisture got in and spread it rot. So we've got a little bit of rot here. We've got rotted jams that were puttied over here and here. And you've got that same rot starting on the bottom panel of each garage door. Some of it we need to router out and fix, like here, this corner. Um, and some of it we can caulk. Whenever you see that wrinkling like you have down here, this was puttied over and painted. you got to cut that out and, and fix it with real wood. But nothing super usual. We'll catch up on it. Again, I'm Andy with Handy Andy. See you in the next house. Bye for now.